Right, so here we are, welcome to the sales office. Um, this is the part that we were originally looking at downstairs in the in the spray booth. This is the um, the, the, the plug from the glass container industry, uh, but we hadn't got any of these, we were actually able to spray, so we sprayed the bar, and this is it now, machined, uh, machined back. Got it back from the machine shop. The outside's come up really, really clean and tidy. The nose of the part has come up really clean and tidy, and we've got a nice radius on the end. So that looks really, really good. So you can see that the technique for spraying these using the spray welder is exactly the same as the technique that you saw for spraying this. Same technology, all the parameters are actually in the book. So you can just set the, 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 the torch up to, uh, to the required parameters, sp uh, spray rates, powder feed rates, rotational speed and spray distance. It'll even give you the nozzle to use for the small component like this. We use the J, uh, 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 J3C type nozzle, so that'll give a nice tight um, spray uh, pattern, so as we don't get very much um, overspray at all. In fact, we should probably get somewhere in excess of 90% recovery of the powder that's used. And that's how it, uh, that's how it should look when it's machined. Looks really, really good. Quite pleased with that. So if you want any more data about the, uh, the J3 or the powder that we use or the technique, just drop us an email, we'll give you any information you need. Okay, thanks very much.